guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. So for today's video, because it is getting late in the day and I need to get something out. It is Friday. I thought I would do a very common video on booktube, but I've never actually done it. I'm going to be doing a Friday Reads video. So this weekend I have two books that I really want to get to. I'm probably going to be finishing off at least one of them. And that one is the one that I showed in a previous video of mine that I started, and that is His Bloody Project. Um, this book is kind of broken into three different parts. We've got the beginning part, which seems to be kind of some police reports, and there's like a map, and that sort of thing, statements. Then the middle section is an actual written account by the accused murderer. So there's like 150 pages directly in the middle, which is what I'm currently in the middle of reading, where it's just about basically what he wrote when he was in jail, waiting for his case, or waiting for his trial, basically. And then after that, there is a third section, which goes kind of back to um, different documents from the case. So we've got like a medical report, we've got trial notes, all that sort of stuff. I'm really, really, really enjoying this book. I think the format is really good. I'm obviously kind of a, a weird kind of trial forensics nerd, so the parts that really are getting me are the trial like notes and the uh, statements from witnesses and that sort of thing. I think those are really fascinating, and I've always found that to be kind of the most fascinating part of any murder investigation. But the middle bit where he's talking about kind of what led up to him committing these crimes because you find out very quickly that he has pled guilty to everything. I'm not finding it as weird as I thought I would. I thought that I was going to feel uh, very disconnected from the killer because I kind of assumed that was how you were supposed to feel, but you don't. You actually like him quite a bit. So anyway, so I want to finish that up this weekend and I don't think that's really too tall of an order. I'm almost I'm almost halfway through it and I've only been reading it for a couple hours, so I'm very excited about that one to finish that guy up so I can I can have another man booker crossed off my list. So far, this one and Hot Milk are by far my favorites. I think they're both excellent stories. And Hot Milk was such written in such a different tone that this one is so accessible to basically anybody who likes even historical dramas and that sort of thing. This is such an accessible book. The second book that I am hoping to get to really quickly is actually on my Kindle. I don't have a physical copy of it. Let me see if I can pull it up so you can see the cover. That is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Now, I saw somebody on booktube, one of my favorite booktubers, uh, mention that he was going to start reading The Muse, which is basically a follow-up, I think, to the miniaturist and I was really interested in reading the miniaturist last year and just never got around to it. So I have an ebook copy from my library that I'm hoping to get to at least start this weekend. I also do have to make a run to the library because my books are due tomorrow, I think. And I may or may not have put in a hold for another book that is now ready. It took like two days. Wasn't expecting it that quickly, but I've got another book that I need to pick up from there. So, if I do end up getting it, I will show you in another Vlogmas video. So that is going to do it for today's really quick little Friday Reads video. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Tell me what you guys are reading down below, if you're reading anything, or are you totally not reading? Because that was me at the beginning of this month. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye! Thank you.